All right, what's going on, YouTube? We're back with another episode of uh, something I think is pretty cool. And a lot of people, I think, will like it if they like Dark Souls. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of Dark Souls something, and I thought it'd be cool. Now, it's not functional. It's more visual. And you're like, what are you talking about? Well, if you haven't already seen it up here, I'm doing a bonfire. We're kind of making it. And I thought I would just kind of start the recording in the middle of me making, like, kind of what I thought could be a model. I know I didn't really have like a bonfire thing and I don't have the perfect sword for it. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I had the particles and stuff and I had something and I'm like, okay, we're doing a bonfire. And people like Dark Souls. And Dark Souls 3 came out not so long ago. So I guess we can do a bond for it. <laughs> Fire. So it's not going to be uh, too difficult. So just put your model together however you want. If you already have a bonfire model, that's awesome. But I'm just going to get a particle system that obviously we're going to use later. And we're going to have our fire here. So we've got um, we've got some different fire. We've got red fire. Um, let's scale that up a wee bit. Yeah? No? More? Uh, oh, wow. 100, 100, 100. Wow. Thanks for not working. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, that, that's a pretty big bonfire. The textures aren't loading, which is strange. So I guess we're not using that one. Let's just get... Wow. Okay, come on, fire texture, particle textures. There we go. Um, oh, I love how the color is affected. Everything is affected by this, and that's, that's to me, that's just awesome. You know. Sweet. Got a nice, beautiful fire. I may do a different one because no, no. Same one. That's a bit different. I think I like that one better. It's got some smoke and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna do that one. Either way, now that we can get into this, so we're going to have this uh, um, auto activate off. Okay, so we're not going to have it immediately activated, obviously, but what we are going to do is we're going to want to open up our, our guy, and I know I put him in a player folder, there we go, open up our guy. So if I remember correctly, we should have an interaction uh, button, do we not have an interaction button? Apparently not, so that's awesome, we have zero none whatsoever interaction button so we're gonna have to make one so just make a bool called interact right and geez set that duplicate it and press crap i don't know what i'm doing e okay i'm gonna need the key and this is gonna take a while because I'm a moron for just typing E because E is the most commonly used letter ever. Um, keys, there we go. There we go. E. Okay, so you press E. And, and you release. So there we go. So, now we go back to the bonfire. And we need to make a collision. So a sphere collision. Okay. So scale that up. So that way it about fits the size of what you would think is a good interaction bubble area for the bonfire. 
that looks good to me. My camera's really slow, but that's only because everything in this is super big. That's what someone said. Okay. Um, I'm going to shrink it just a little bit. That's that's better in my opinion. Okay, gonna save that, and uh, we're going to want to edit some of the collisions. So custom, obviously. Um, let's just ignore everything, um, and overlap with the player. Yes. So on component begin overlap and on component end overlap and obviously the actor is going to be cast to bro 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 sweet so I have a feeling I can do this all in one take nope I can't never mind okay so we're going to want to get uh, interact. Or, dang it, I said get. Set inter interact to false. And then up here, of course, set it to true. And, uh, Oh. No, I, I was right. We do need to get it. Get. I am dumb. Wow. Because we need to branch it. I'm surprised I still remember how to do this. I mean, it's been forever since I've done any of this stuff. <whistles> I mean, yeah. I mean, I haven't even watched tutorials on my free time. Just like. I've done nothing with a UE4 ever since I've been grounded. Wow. Um, <laughs> anyways, and if that's... Wait. I'm going about this all wrong. Oh my god, I'm a moron. Ha! I was leading you in the completely wrong direction. But we are going to want to, we're going to want to break these and save these. So um, we're going to promote to variable um, can interact. So if we can interact, then uh, activate, set active fire. False. We're not going to do anything. Sweet. Um, also, branch condition. Um, gonna. I'm really brain farting right here. Um, set interact to true set can interact to true there and false there wow I am I'm doing bad I had this all planned out in my head but then I mean I just <whistles> went somewhere I'm gonna gonna put this on a tick um, and we're going to cast to bro AI. Uh, get player pawn. I know it's a, my blueprints are messing up. My OCD should be going crazy right now, but it's not just because I would like to get this done with. Okay, and sweet. 
that's about how you do it. Okay, let's drag it into the world. Obviously, I just created a normal actor and set that stuff up. Uh, if you're wondering how I got that in the first place. Scale it way down to a better size. Yeah. Yeah, it looks cool. Alright. It's probably a bit big. It is. It's a bit big. But it still looks dope in first person. And press E. And guess what? It doesn't bloody work. What a surprise. Oh, but hey, there's collisions. Can't complain about that. But the concept uh, works, and I would like to pause it and see what the heck I did wrong. Um, so about what I did wrong, yeah. Talk about brain farting. Didn't even connect that. I, I'm good. I am good. There we go. I knew I did it right. I was just, you know, I was playing with you guys. I, I, I know what I'm doing. Either way, alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, rate, comment, and subscribe, and don't burn the fire. But, uh, that's kind of the system that I think, uh, Darks, uh, oh, jeez, Dark Souls uses, I almost said Darksiders, I'm like, wrong game. Dark Souls uses, you just walk up, press it, and, uh, obviously, you know, you can go back, and the new one, you go back to the place place and level up. And I'm not kidding, I only know this because of YouTube videos. I really need to get the game play it. Uh, and I'm not kidding, I haven't played the first one to either hate me all you want. Um, and that's purely because I had a misconception about the way the game was. I thought the game was very demonic, and finding out that it's not as demonic as I thought it was, which is not at all. I um, think I'm going to play it now. <laughs> so, you know, misconceptions about games happens all the time. Ouch. But, either way. So that's pretty much it. Our guy looks. Our guy looks like he's straight out of straight out of Dark Souls. Ooh, gang fight. <laughs> gang, uh, Dark Souls Bloodborne gang fight. Oh my gosh. But uh, yeah. Other than that, you know, that's 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 what we're gonna be cruising with. And camera's glitching out just because the dude's swinging at us. We're gonna use a shield to block and walk around with nothing. So I hope you guys did like. If you did like, rate, comment, subscribe, watch my other videos to give me more money. Cause you know. That helps. And then, I was about to say, does he not stop attacking? Come on. Wow, he's a smart AI. Jeez. I wish I could make AIs that smart. <laughs> well, either way, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please, like I said, like, rate, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.